at night we put out these lights uh, at the back of the boat to, to attract small uh, larval animals, planktonic animals. They see light for the first time, well artificial light for the first time, and presumably they get confused uh, on the idea that it might be the new moon or the stars, and so they circle, they're very small for the most part, planktonic uh, larval stages of crabs, a few isopods swimming around for an easy meal, and then chasing them in are the fish, uh, and some of the larger animals like uh, carnivorous shrimp. And there's also krill in the water, and I've taken a few samples, and I'm going to go show you something now. Right. Right. And here we've got our juvenile eel, or larval eel, uh, commonly referred to as like a glass eel. And you can see, basically you can see straight through it, you can see the vertebrae, you can even see uh, some of the gut contents, so this little line from the mouth going through to the anus. Now, as this moves, you can see it actually forms an iridescent sheen, and you can see it kind of rippling down the body as the, the eel moves its body. In here, we've got a small predatory shrimp that's obviously been chasing the smaller animals that have been uh, running around in the, in the lights. Now, this particular one is Sarin marmoratus. It's a quite uh, ornate species, very pretty to look at. We've actually been collecting a lot of these on the reefs. Uh, recently, so I'm actually quite surprised to see it up in the water column swimming around chasing the smaller animals in the light. It's not just the large animals that we find in the tree, even the microscopic holds a whole new world to be discovered. 